get some specifics on where I'm at on this. You just saw the time lapse in uh, getting to where we are now. I'll give you a couple of different views since you could only see one particular area. This is my idea. The idea is these three pressure treated pieces all the way around the bottom are going to stay on year round. And these plywood sections that I haven't made the front yet, that'll be next up. But these sides in the front are bolted on. Uh, what I did is I just got these carriage bolts with these spreaders uh, that are really good for biting into the wood. And uh, hopefully it'll be strong enough. I glued and screwed uh, the 2x4 to the uh, plywood here. And then I have the runners to give it support horizontal. So the horizontal support in the plywood is that way. And then the vertical support is here um, on the outside. And that kind of makes for a slick setup where it all fits right in between the same profile up and down as the bottom. So uh, my plan is to paint the upper section. So these two by fours, that's why they're not pressure treated. They're regular wood. I've got some flat black paint. I'm going to paint those uprights in the plywood in black. And that black section with the two legs that bolt right through, there's two bolts there, two bolts there, and that panel will come off. Same thing with the other side. I'm going to paint that as well, flat black. Same thing, two pieces. And uh, when leaf season comes, I can take those sections. I'll have them stored somewhere, and I can just bolt them on with the four bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll have this front section that I'm going to build next, and that'll create the whole front section. Um, uh, yeah, everything except for the tailgate. Then we're going to have the tarp. This here is the mesh tarp uh, that allows air to go through, but will hold the leaves in. Um, what I'm going to do is take this metal flexible connector and connect it on the end of the chute there, and that's going to bend down into the top. I'll probably have just a piece of plywood across the front just as a nice fixed hole that that will go into. And then from there, the end of the plywood back is going to be uh, the tarp. Depending on how long this tarp is, I may, uh, we'll see how it goes. No, I'm probably going to do a, just a wooden swing gate that goes like this. I'm not sure. That's what I've always done in the past. I do like a two by six across the top with a hinge. Um, but I don't have anything made on the bottom yet for just the, the year round wood. So whatever I'm going to have on the back here, which I'm not sure yet if I'm just going to put some uh, rails that go upright that I can slide a couple boards into and just have, you know, maybe a tailgate that slides up to here. So you can just put one or two boards in and just slide them out to remove them. Or if I'm going to build a tailgate or swinging barn doors, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm probably going to do something that's pressure treated that I'm not painting that stays on year round for the back here. And then on the top of that up, will be just a plywood, uh, like I said, probably a swing gate of, of some type that will bolt to the leaf box. So I can disassemble that each year, hoping to have this, this rig more than one year. It seems every year I'm building something new. But I like this setup because there's no trailer involved. There's no nothing. That the uh, As you can see, the leaf loader is is right, uh, right on board here. Um, everything is just going to like swing up out of the way. The hose and everything we're probably going to disconnect the hose when we're driving any distance and pull that out so it's not sticking out but once we get to start uh sucking up leaves we just slide that in pop the hose on and then uh and go for it so uh, that is the plan this time around so and again this is the front section that it gives me for loading tools and of course the leaf loader so the leaf loader fits right in there no problem uh, the exhaust right now is facing towards this window. I'm going to take a piece of sheet metal that's bent at a 45 degree angle and bolt it to that uh, muffler shield to direct kind of like at this, that goes this way across. So it's going to direct all of the uh, exhaust kind of away from that back window, not towards it, out that direction there. So uh, that's the plan with that because uh, there's plenty of room in there to do that but this is nice because like I said we can stick, we can stick uh, 
uh, wheelbarrows and pitchforks and stuff and all kinds of hand tools in here for all year round for um, doing mulch jobs when this top section is not on it and just this section is. Load tools in here can fit like a good four or five yards of mulch in this main section, you know, heaped up nice. And uh, it's a pretty capable truck. And, you know, that's about all you can put in it anyways. It's only a one-ton truck. So once I get this all set, I'm still going to paint this body. I think this whole body is going to end up all black at one point. Uh, I'm still making a bunch of changes to it, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. But I may go with green or black. We'll see what happens. Um, and I'm going to repaint the cab at some point and uh, really restore this truck nice. Um, I'm going to redo the cab corners and the rockers and paint this, give it a nice fresh white paint job and letter it up. Either repaint the wheels or put some chrome uh, wheel simulators on it and it's gonna be a really nice truck for short money. Again, I'm into this truck for two grand. I've got between this wood and that wood, I got about $500 in wood in the leaf box. Um, so this is a $2,500 I got into this setup right now. You can't beat that. And a little bit of time, you know, I've already just done some neatening up on the frame and stuff, but I haven't put much money into this truck at all, barely any. And that came with brand new tires too, so. But, all right, we'll put you back on the time lapse and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make that front section and that's probably gonna be it for this video. All right, guys. Yeah. 